Carl and I decided we should start showing you a few of these uh, things we're working on. This is a very simple project, but uh, uh, effective, I hope. Um, this here's a little part we ordered. I ordered on Amazon. This here uh, kind of wine fridge I got with the boat. Uh, it hasn't been working for about eight to ten months, so probably almost a year. And it's been basically just used as storage. Um, I looked up on Amazon, or on, on YouTube, and saw how to test the compressor. So we're going to look at that in just a second. We te tested that, and it looked like everything was fine. So I ordered this here little part. It's called a, a 3-in-1 hard start from Supcro. This one was the URCO410. And it works on any refrigerator, uh, also some air conditioners, and a bunch of other things. Basically what it does is it helps the compressor. It, it, it changes the, the starting parameters of the electric motor so that it puts a bigger jolt of power uh, to it to help it crank over when it's basically stuck, a stuck rotor condition. So first you got to make sure your, your, com your compressor is good. And then if it is, you try one of these and often you can get it lasting longer. We don't know how long, we'll see. Sometimes years, sometimes weeks. Um, but uh, uh, we're hoping years. Anyway, let's uh, take a look. Here's the back of our mini fridge, uh, along with the new Supco 3-in-1. This is the part we ordered. Um, this will also help uh, if you have an air conditioner, marine air conditioner or something, sometimes bring that back to life for a while longer. Um, anyway, uh, on the back of your compressor, the compressor is this black kind of pump motor right here in the middle. And on the left side, they're almost all built the same. There's three pins. We're going to pull out. We've already disconnected it. But we're going to pull it out and show you here. It comes. They all come with some sort of a relay and a safety heat switch. So we're going to disconnect that. There's two wires connecting to it. It's essentially the power going into the compressor. We're going to set those aside. Usually one of those has gone bad. We actually did some testing on those earlier with just a voltmeter. There's some videos on YouTube you can watch on testing the uh, compressor to make sure it's good. As long as all three uh, tar turns inside uh, have good uh, resistance against each other, none are grounded. So we did that, we verified the compressor was, in fact, working and, and working good. So I ordered this part. You can get them, as I mentioned, for about $12 on Amazon. And we already wired it in a little bit, so Carla just demonstrated reconnecting it. All you do is connect these two black wires to the, the wires that previously were sending the power in. So now the power is going to go into this, essentially just a giant capacitor, and it's going to cause the motor to crank a little earlier. There's two other wires. On, on this one, we're not using this red and, and white wire. Some of them will have a capacitor that you removed and it'll have two connections on it. So essentially the, this black piece we removed, if it had two connections, we would still connect those on. This one doesn't, so we're gonna leave them unconnected. And on the back, on the compressor itself, it's gonna be a little difficult to see in there, so I'm gonna just show you the diagram that it came with. But we've already connected up the three, uh, the three wires. There we go. We've already connected the three wires there too in the top corner, the common start and run to the compressor. And that's it, we're ready to give it a shot. So let's just see, um, let's see what happens here. We're ready to plug it in. <laughs> oh, wait, do that again, Carla. <laughs> With luck, we're gonna, we're gonna test it out. Okay. So we should hear the compressor crank up. Here we go. There it goes. It's back to it's got it's alive. <laughs> so that's uh, getting your old refrigerator going again. Let's. Uh, I'm going to pause and we'll see if it cools off here in, in a little bit. We have it back in place. And it is showing 56 degrees and cooling, cooling down rapidly. So we've got an extra, extra little fridge on board. Call that a success.